Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing our Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus for July 2021. The regular Ipsy Glam Bag, this is a $12 a month subscription. In here, we should have five sample size products catered to our beauty profile. This profile is not my normal profile. This is somebody who's interested in more adventurous makeup, um, just a different person than me. And then the Glam Bag Plus, this is a $25 a month subscription. In here, we should have five full-size products catered to our beauty profile. And the Glam Bag Plus, this is my normal profile, so somebody who's interested in more neutral makeup, comfortable with makeup, correct age, this is me. And the Glam Bag, regular Glam Bag, this is somebody else. If you're new to my channel, I am a cruelty-free YouTuber, so if at any time while I'm filming, if I don't know something's cruelty-free, I will do the research. I will have it displayed right here on the screen for you, as well as the full-size value if it is full-size and the estimated sample size value if it is sample-sized. Uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop into it. Per usual, we will start with the regular glam bag. I've been getting these bags really late lately. Uh, it's almost the end of the month and I'm just now getting into these. I, I got the regular, or sorry, the Glam Bag Plus pretty early, but the regular Glam Bag came a little bit late. Okay, when you open it up, you're gonna have this right here. This is the bag that it comes in. It says, stay golden right there, pretty cute. And it's got a little sun right there. Inside is gonna have this little card that has everything we're getting as well as their full size value. So be sure to mention the full size values on these products as well. Uh, let's just start pulling stuff out. All right, the first thing I am pulling out is from La Chatelaine. I don't know why I always get stuff in French. Um, this is a coconut milk hand cream. There's the packaging. Actually, I really like that a lot. Super cute. It says on the back it is cruelty free, so that's great. Um, I don't know if this is fragranced or not, but it is just a hand cream, so I should hopefully be okay. So it does have a fragrance to it. It is, I don't know if it's actually coconut. It might be a coconut. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you. It is like a thick like cream, it's not a lotion. I don't know, that's not coconut. I don't know what that fragrance is, but it's kind of musky. I don't know. I'm not really good with uh, scent notes, so. Um, but yeah, it says it's shea butter and argan oil to moisturize and repair dry skin. Yeah, at the back, it might not have added fragrance. That just might be the scent of it, because I'm not seeing anything that's labeled as fragrance on the back, so. Um, just might be the way that like shea butter smells, I'm not sure. The full size value of this item is $9.50. Not too bad for a lotion, I don't think. Okay, let's pull out the next thing. The next thing I have is from Tarte, which is cruelty free. This is the Quench Hydrating Primer. I believe I actually have a full size of this that I have not opened up yet. Um, let's go ahead and see. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, maybe I have tried something like I've tried a primer from Tarte like this and maybe it had different packaging at the other time I think that was the quench and hydrate one uh, this is this is quench maybe it is a different packaging I can't quite remember um, but it looks like that it's like gel almost like it doesn't feel like gel a little bit like gel and not too much though um it's a nice primer like primer is one of those things where like I don't feel like it does anything until I don't wear it then I'm like oh yeah I definitely need primer um I fairly certain I have a full size one of these sitting around somewhere though, but maybe I can use that little one up. The full size value is $32. That may be a little bit overpriced. I really like Tarte, but um, I think that's a little bit overpriced for a primer personally. All right. The next thing I am pulling out is from Real Her, which is cruelty free. This is a moisturizing lipstick and mine is in the shade Girl Power. There's the packaging. And there's the shade, it's like a red, I think. Let's see if this is a color I think I can pull off. So that's deceiving. I open up this end to pull it out because it looks like it's gonna be this big. And there's like a big gap there. 
I'll, I'll, I'll show you the comparison once I pull it out of the packaging to see. Oh yeah, so it's this big and the box is this big. Why? Oh, this is not red. I thought, like, judging by the color here, it was going to be more red, but it's pretty nude. There's the color. It's pulling a little more brown on camera than it is in real life, but let's go ahead and swatch it for you. This does look like a color I would like. Oh yeah, it looks very similar to the color I'm wearing today. I'm wearing that Lauren Conrad one that I got um, from last month's Ipsy, and I really, really like that a lot. Uh, there it is. Looks like a color right up my alley, so I definitely will use that. The full size is $18, which is, you know, not the worst price for lipstick, but uh, not the best price either. All right, this next thing I'm pulling out is from Nomad Cosmetics, which is cruelty free. This is again something in a different language Cartagena Magica. Um, it's an eyeshadow from. I assume that's the palette name. I don't think that's the shade name, but let's see what we have in here. Um, I think this is a brand that's super underrated. Like they're not talked about a lot, but every eyeshadow I've tried from them is like so nice and so creamy. Uh, really good. Let's see what this is. Ooh, so it's like a glittery gold sort of color. I'll go ahead and swatch that. So I think this shade is Eres El Mundo, which I could totally be saying that wrong and that could have nothing to do with it. There's my hand. Pretty good. Nice gold color. I don't typically love colors like that. Um, I prefer more cool tone, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. But that is pretty. And I have been doing this where I just wear a shimmer on my eyelid. Um, just one color. And it's really been nice. So maybe I will give that one a go. It's very, very shiny. I really like that. Uh, the full size is $37, which I believe is from a palette. Um, like I said earlier, but yeah, definitely excited to get that. Like I said, this brand is really, really good. I really enjoy every eyeshadow I've tried from them. All right. We have one last item in our regular glam bag, and this is from Item Beauty, which is cruelty free. This is the Brow Chow ultra fine brow definer and mine's in the shade medium brown which if you've been around here for a while that's progress because I have blonde hair but every uh, eyebrow product I get is for blonde hair but my eyebrows are not blonde so um, I don't know what this is though okay so here's here's the packaging it's just like a pencil thing but I open this up and it's just this it's like a little tiny brush it looks like one of those artiste brushes like you do like your foundation and stuff with, but it's like super tiny. There's no pigment in it. Uh, let me take off this label here and see if there's something on the other end. Okay. So it's just like this regular pencil thing. So I think, let's swatch that. It's not super creamy. It's a little bit hard. Um, There's the color. Not too bad of a color match for me, I don't think. Eh, not too bad. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror in here. Okay, so I'm going to brush it through with this little brush and see what happens. Okay, so it kind of blurred it. So I think that's what you do. You just put it in your eyebrows if you're looking for a more like soft brow and not like a... What's the word? harsh brow. Uh, this would be great. I definitely want to give this a go. It's definitely something different and nothing like I've ever received before. So excited to get that. Um, the full size is $15, which I don't think is the worst price I've heard of for an eyebrow pencil or for one that has like that little nifty thing on the end. So excited to get that. All right. So that entire bag was cruelty free, which is great overall. I don't really think it goes with the profile that well. The lipstick is pretty neutral and uh, the eyeshadow was pretty bold, I would say, um, but everything else was pretty not adventurous or bold, just like typical products that you would use. Wiping off these swatches, and I will tell you that the eyeshadow is glittery, like there's still glitter particles on my hand, so I don't really think it's a shimmer. I think it's like a shimmery glitter maybe is what I would call it. All right, let's get into the Glam Bag Plus. So here's the bag. It says stay golden again. There's a card right here. 
um, also has a theme and everything, which I didn't mention was is Stay Golden. Um, this one will not have anything about any other products, so I will research it like I said in the beginning, and it will be on the screen for you so you will know the value of each item. Alright, let's just start pulling stuff out. <clears throat> Alright, the first thing I have is from Juice Beauty, which I believe is cruelty free. This is the SPF 30 Oil Free Moisturizer, which is great because I'm just about out of my, not just about, but I'm getting close to being out of the SPF that I'm using. So, I am in need of a face SPF. Alright, so, it's just a sunscreen. Like, I don't know what else to say about it. I definitely will use it. I have one right now that's like in a pump, and so I think I'm just gonna dump this in. I like being able to pump just how much I need. I don't have to get the stuff like the packaging all greasy and stuff. Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, definitely will use that. All right, let's pull this next thing. This is wrapped in um, bubble wrap. This is from Basic Beauty, which I've never heard of this brand. It does say it's cruelty free on the back. This is the Bronzy AF Bronzer Palette. There's the packaging, really nice. Um, the shades are called Snatural, Cinnamon, Bad and Bronzy. I don't know how I feel about that. So the component itself is just plastic, which, fine. Okay, so this is a cool toned bronzer, which I tend to like. The middle shade looks most like what I would use. I guess this shade is a little bit warmer, but um, I don't think I could use the dark shade. Maybe what I like to do when I get a bronzer shade that's too dark, that's where I like to put it like on my neck because I get like tan lines from my shirt and on my arm. So I'll put it like, you can see my tan line, like I'll put the dark there, like if I'm wearing a tank top or something, um, it tends to be okay for that. Uh, but yeah, I definitely will use it. I Bronzer is probably one of my favorite things, so I go, like I always am in the search for like the perfect bronzer because my favorite bronzer is not cruelty free anymore, which if you didn't know, that was a physician's formula, the butter bronzer they now sell in China. Not good for me. All right, let's pull out this next thing. This looks to be like some other sort of palette. Uh, this is from Half Caked, which is cruelty free. I've only ever tried lip products from them. This uh, palette design, or whatever this is, I'm not sure. Yeah, Your Eyes Only 9 Pigment Palette. It is in the shape of a floppy disk, which if you are watching this video and you don't know what that is, um, that's from like the 90s, early 2000s. I don't know when they stopped floppy disks, but it's been a long time. Uh, but this used to be like what your SD card is like. This is what you used to save things on. All right, let's look at it. Okay, so here's the palette itself. It's pretty much a neutral palette with some pops of pink in there, which I like. I will go ahead and swatch a couple of these shades. Ooh, that pink is nice. Uh, let's do the brown. And we'll do this pink and this. Okay, so there's a couple on my fingers and we'll go ahead and do an arm swatch. That's that pink, nice. And then we'll do the dark pink. Okay, and we'll do the brown. And what's the other color? Oh, like a champagne sort of color. And there they are. The pink um, is something that looks like it's gonna be a little harder to blend, but not too bad. Um, I've said in other videos that, uh, you know, things swatched are different than how they apply on the eyes, but overall I am happy with those swatches. I'm going to wipe that off real quick because it is pink. It's going to stain my arm. Okay. So yeah, definitely like that. I'm curious to try their eyeshadows because like I said, I've only ever tried lip products from them. So excited to give that a go. Uh, let's see. This next thing I'm pulling out is from Fenty Beauty, which is cruelty free. This is a, some sort of lip thing, I think. Oh, Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unlocked. There's the color. Here's the packaging. I don't know if I held that upside down. Possibly. All right, let's see what a Stunna Lip Paint looks like. That looks like a bright color. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this, guys. Um, this is like magenta is what I would call this. 
Whoa. Okay, so the applicator is definitely interesting. Look at that. It's like a doe foot, but it's like definitely different. I'll go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so it is like super bright. I don't know if that's going to stay like shiny or if it's going to dry down matte. Um, definitely a bold color. Um, looks like something that may be drying on the lips, but I cannot confirm nor deny that. Uh, just the form looks like it may dry down and be a little uncomfortable. All right, and we have one last item. Lots of stuff in bubble wrap this month. Okay, this is from Hip Dot, which is cruelty free. This is the Sun Goddess Four Shade Face Palette. I really like the packaging on that. Pretty. All right. Oh my. Okay, so I don't. This is the face palette. It's saying so. When I look at this. This does not look like face. Like this is, I don't know, none of those colors look like anything I would put on my face. So it says, you're a sun goddess even if you haven't spent time in sun lately. Create the ultimate sun kissed with these four highlight blush shades and soft blendable formula. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it, but like if this is a blush, that seems way too dark for me. That's the only matte shade in here. And then, like maybe I could do this color, but it, look, it looks really silver on camera, but it's more like champagne. Mm, I don't know, what do you think about that? I feel like it's maybe not meant for me and my skin tone. I don't know, maybe I'll mess around with it. Maybe I will pass it on to somebody else. Okay, so here's the lip color. It's pretty, it's not matte, but it's not, like shiny. I guess it is kind of matte. Maybe a demi matte, semi matte. I don't know. Um, this is, I guess, a good color for summer. However, I don't think it goes with the profile very well. All right, so that's everything we got in this month's Ipsy versus Ipsy. Overall, I think the Glam Bag Plus was the better bag this month. I have a face palette. I have a bronzer. I have an eyeshadow palette a lip product and an SPF, which I think I'm gonna use everything and except for I'm just thinking about the face palette, but overall pretty good bag. The regular glam bag was good too. I think I'm gonna use all of that too, right? Let me double check. Yeah, I think everything in there I'm going to use as well. So it was a good month for both bags. I don't dislike either bag. I like them both, but I think the Glam Bag Plus wins out by just a hair. Okay, but now it's time for you to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Leave a comment. Let me know if you get either of these subscriptions, what you got in your bags, um, what you thought of mine, all that stuff. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. If you want to see more videos like this for me, more unboxings, more dogs eventually. They're just chilling in the room right next to me. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.